So now that you have created a pivot table, in step eight, you're going to get to create a pivot chart. So let's showcase your visualization skills here. Back to you, Dr. Para. Thank you, Dr. Jacobs. Let me show you the easiest way to get it done. The easiest way to get it done is to go to data, create a pivot table, right? Uh, if we're gonna do this by region and we're gonna do the, the values are gonna be based on the revenue, cost of goods sold, and operating margin. And if we're gonna call that revenue, cost of goods sold, and I think we're gonna call this profit margin. So those three columns. And we're also gonna filter the dates to be only for the year 2018. So as such, I'm gonna go to the date and apply a filter based on a condition. I could have clicked in here for all the 2018s. Instead, I'm gonna make it easy and do a, it is between this and that. Uh, 1, 1, 2018 and 12, 31, 2018. Press okay, and that should fix it. All right, so that is actually giving me the data that I wanna represent. Now that I have my data on this pivot table, I can turn around and say, oh, let's insert a chart that will be based on these numbers. Um, I would like to make this a not a stack column chart because my profit margin is not all the way up here. It's not very representative. It's not very helpful. One of, one, one of the graphs that you could use is this one where you have the data right next to each other. So each type of um, measure or metric will be uh, grouped by the region. Or I could have an, a st stepped area graph that would show you for each one of these side by side, this is a little more visible. It's up to you. I think this might be more visible to know who's making the most money, and that makes sense in terms of revenue, cost of goods sold, and then the most efficiency. So let me keep this one instead. You're welcome to use this one or the um, the column chart next to each other. So let me go back to this stepped area chart. We don't want it stacked. Okay, wonderful. All right. So this is it. And you know, if you wanted to display the data when you print it, you would put it next to it. But in this case, I, I don't want you, I don't want to do that. I just want to make sure that we have a pretty big graph. So when I print it, it's fitting to my width. That's perfect. And I'm hiding the data below. So don't show me the data, just show me the graph. Uh, and since I'm going to grade it not by printing, but by looking at this, go ahead and make it not too big either so that it doesn't take over my screen. All right. And that is basically it. Before we finish, let's go ahead and call this region summary chart. Okay. So let's make sure that we name this chart and I'm going to hide. So I have the general information transactions. I would like it to keep it this way. Summary chart, region summary, customer summary, and industry summary because I'm to the right. Um, and that's, that's it. That's the, the end of this requirement.